Hi everyone, and welcome to the first foam how-to on how to get started with the foam map and placing your first location. The foam map is a community verified registry of places. Anyone can add a place to the foam map and share their knowledge of the world. The foam map is a Web3 application which needs a digital wallet compatible browser such as Brave, Opera, or Chrome. To open the foam map, visit map.foam.space. This how-to series is aimed to guide both beginners and the existing community members through some of the core functionalities of what is being developed at Foam. In the description of this video, you can find specific guides to each of the steps we will walk through. So let's start. Anyone can navigate the Foam map, but to participate as an active cartographer, which means adding, challenging, and voting on locations, you need to have MetaMask installed and have it charged with Foam tokens and ETH. MetaMask is a free browser extension that allows you to access digital currencies and tokens like Ether and Foam tokens. It also allows you to directly interact with smart contracts via your browser. Foam tokens are needed to place locations, challenge, and vote on the Foam map. ETH, in turn, is used to pay for transaction costs, which is called gas. For further information on how to get started and how to get foam tokens in ETH, check the guide in the description below. Before getting started as a cartographer, you need to approve your foam tokens for use. This is done via the dashboard, which is accessed by clicking your user icon that appears after you've logged in with MetaMask. From here, you can approve foam tokens for use in the foam map registry. 50 foam tokens is the minimum stake per point, and I want to add several, so I'm going to approve 300 tokens. Please note that the foam tokens you stake in points can be withdrawn later at your own discretion. We also recommend setting up email notifications to get notified when something happens with points you've created, challenged, or voted for or against in challenges. We will go through challenging and voting in a later video. Note that you can unsubscribe from foam email notifications at any point in the future via the foam map site or through the email notifications themselves. So you're all set up and you want to start contributing places to the foam map. The easiest way to start is checking the foam map and seeing what places in your vicinity are not added yet. I will add the place where I'm sitting while recording this video, the co-working space in Berlin I work from. To add a new place, click on the location of the map of the place you want to add. As a next step, choose register new point of interest. We will go through the creation of signals in a later how-to video. Now we can start entering the information about the place we want to add. As a first step, check that the autofilled address corresponds with the address of the location. Add name, description, tag, and phone number and website if applicable. The co-working space I work from doesn't have a phone number, so I'm going to skip that field. The next step is to add the amount of foam tokens you want to stake in the location. Staking foam tokens in locations added to the foam map guarantees accuracy in a decentralized system. We recommend the minimum amount of 50 foam tokens. To finish, click register POI. The only thing left to do now is to confirm the MetaMask transaction, wait until the transaction goes through, and you've successfully added a new location to the foam map. Congratulations. In the next video, we will go through challenging and voting. For further guides, check out the links to our help center below in the description. 